Koinant, good evening fellow South Africans and citizens of the world. And I just put up a video a short while ago about should white South Africans leave the country. And one of the big issues in South Africa, as we've talked about so extensively here, is ESCOM and electricity. Because when the lights go out, who knows what's going to happen. That's why I've always talked about having a plan B. And I'll actually link below Saitlander's uh, how to join them below this video. Because I think it's important. If you don't have a plan B, you need to get one. But Emma's written to me, and apparently Emma's very involved in the um, engineering industry, uh, amongst other things. And the person says, in the attachments, and I, I've got the 11 images attached, she says, this is one of the four power stations which have been blown apart. Now, if there are any engineers who are um, subscribed to this channel, maybe you'd like to comment down below as to what you've seen uh, to give more substance to this uh, video that I'm putting up. But I'm just going to read what M says. Hi Scott, you had a recent video showing the burning coal mine and conveyors at Optimum near Middleburg. Connect the dots. ESCOM does not have and will not have coal. So there will be power outs. Euphemistic load shedding. I attached some pictures, 11 for showing South Africa and the world, of what happened because of BEE and their bright so-called engineers. This was one of four power stations blown apart by ESCOM. Obviously lack of maintenance and proper standards. I hope you do receive it. Please let me know if you do, don't and I will resend. Well, I obviously have received it. <laughs> to confirm the death of all things construction, my neighbour is or was a civil engineer with a company employing about 30 personnel. He had contracts with Sanrail, the failed electronic toll road pension ripoff scheme. He was never paid and his company went bankrupt. He now grows mushrooms in his backyard to make a living. Can you believe it? This is what's going on in South Africa. And this is, this is what I love about this channel. You know, it's the networking. And as you know, this Sunday, I've got Dirk van Furen, who I'll be talking to at 8 p.m. Johannesburg time. I'm hoping to have it on the main channel, but we've got that little issue. We just got to check whether notifications have been sent through. Um, anyway, so... M says, by the way, I know Dirk van Furen quite well. I was one of the culprits who helped him translate the Bible from Hebrew and Greek into Afrikaans back in 1998 to 2000, there on the farm. We then set up a printing and binding shop, and after the first 1,000 Bibles were completed, I returned home. The printing and binding is still in operation today, and some of the people living there are now employed doing that, amongst many other things and then signs off, have a nice day. So, isn't it a small world? Guess what I'm going to be talking to Dirk about on Sunday night? This very issue, translating the Bible into Afrikaans. What a fascinating subject that'll be. And that's way outside the parameters of what we were going to be talking about. All right, guys, here come the images of this um, power plant that's just blown up because of lack of maintenance and because all the engineers are BEE appointed at ESCOM. And you can understand why Ted Blum, I think, is on the money when he says expect blow chinning. All right, guys, please remember to subscribe to be kept informed. Ring the bell for the updates. Please like this video. And above all, stay safe. Bye for now.